Hello everyone, welcome back to AI Medical School, in this video I'm gonna tell you about amoxicillin drug, which is oral semisynthetic amino penicillin similar to ampicillin. But before starting the video, please subscribe to the channel, 98% audience watch the videos, but don't subscribe to the channel, so quickly subscribe to the channel and hit the thumbs up, let's start the video. Amoxicillin is oral semisynthetic amino penicillin similar to ampicillin. Amoxicillin is more stable to gastric acids and more bioavailable than other penicillins. It inhibits the third and final stage of bacterial cell wall synthesis by binding to specific penicillin binding proteins that are located inside the bacterial cell wall and are responsible for several steps in the synthesis of the cell wall. Chemically amoxicillin is aminophydroxybenzyl penicillin. Amoxicillin is a broad-spectrum antibiotic and has bactericidal activity against many gram-positive and gram-negative bacteria. Antibiotics require constant drug level in body for therapeutic effect. This is achieved by taking the drug at regular intervals of time throughout the day and night as prescribed. Amoxicillin is important to take the drug for the full time period as prescribed. If you discontinue the drug it may result in ineffective treatment. And indications are, amoxicillin is primarily indicated in conditions like abscesses, acute bronchitis, bacteriuria, bronchitis, carbuncles, cellulitis, chronic bronchitis, cystitis, dental abscess, endocarditis, furunculosis, gonorrhea, gynecological infections, Haemophilus influenza infections, Helicobacter pylori eradication, infected wounds, inflammatory bowel disease, lower respiratory tract infections. Meningitis, metastatic, metastatic colorectal cancer, mild to moderate chronic heart failure, muscle relaxation for surgery or intubation, muscle relaxation during intensive care, osteomyelitis, otitis media, parathyroid fever, peritonitis. Pneumonia, puerperal sepsis, pyelonephritis, septic abortion, septicemia, sinusitis, skin infections, soft tissue infections, surgical infections, syphilis, systemic infections, tonsillitis, typhoid, and urinary tract infection. Now the contraindications, amoxicillin is contraindicated in conditions like lymphoma and glandular fever. Side effects are, the severe or irreversible adverse effects of amoxicillin, which give rise to further complications include pseudomembranous colitis, thrombocytopenia, Stevens-Johnson syndrome, nephrotic syndrome, eosinophilia, leukopenia, neutropenia, seizures, agranulocytosis, interstitial nephritis, hemolysis, platelet dysfunction. Amoxicillin produces potentially life-threatening effects which include anaphylactic shock which are responsible for the discontinuation of amoxicillin therapy. The signs and symptoms that are produced after the acute overdosage of amoxicillin include crystalluria, hemorrhagic cystitis. The symptomatic adverse reactions produced by amoxicillin are more or less tolerable and if they become severe, they can be treated symptomatically, these include dizziness, headache, anorexia, diarrhea, fever, abdominal pain, maculopapular rash, rashes, gastritis, indigestion, urticarial skin rash, pseudomembranous colitis, elevation of liver enzymes, nausea and vomiting, cholestatic jaundice, hepatitis, bolus rash, and arrhythmia. Now warnings, amoxicillin should be used with caution in patients with medical history especially kidney disease, stomach or intestinal problems, blood disorders or drug allergies, especially allergies to other penicillin or cephalosporin antibiotics. Do not use amoxicillin repeatedly or for prolonged period, because use of this medication for prolonged or repeated periods may result in a secondary infection. Use with extreme caution during pregnancy or lactation. High Risk Groups Drugs should not be given to cardiac or hypertensive patients and patients suffering from kidney dysfunction. If prescribing authority justifies the benefits of the drug against the possible damages he or she should re-evaluate them. 
Now dosage, the adult dose is 0.25 to 0.5 gram, frequency is 8 hourly, and root is oral, for, and I am. Note, doses vary according to indication. In typhoid fever and meningitis dosage is 150 mg per kg per day in adults and 100 to 150 mg per kg per day in children should be given. Doses greater than 500 mg is given in divided doses. Now brand names. Amoxyl. Moxywell. And Wellmoxy. I hope you guys like the video, if you found this video helpful so please consider the subscribing to channel and hit the thumbs up, thanks for watching.